Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of My Joyful Life. And my name is Cynthia with Cynthia's Joyful Creations. And I am so excited to be bringing this series to you. These are going to be short videos that just kind of give you a little glimpse into getting to know me a little bit better. And so some of them may be fun stories. Some of them may be um, introducing you to people in my life. It might be my husband and I baking cookies. You just never know what you might get in this series. So welcome. Join the journey and the adventure. And let's go ahead and get started. So today's episode is going to be about the bears in my life. Bears? Oh no! No, these are good bears. So the first bear I want to introduce to you, his name is called Mr. Bear. He is a very old bear. This bear is about 73 years old. And as you can tell, he's had a lot of loving and so let me introduce Mr. Bear to you and tell you how Mr. Bear came to be a part of my life. So my husband and I started dating in about April of 2005 and about maybe around June of 2005. He was coming over. Well, I knew he had been working on something for me, and it was a big surprise. It was going to be a big to-do, and so my anticipation was up, and I was so excited. I had no idea what to expect, what was going on, and I'm going to take my glasses off real quick because there's such a glare on them. Anyway, so the day arrived when I was going to get this big surprise, and I didn't know what to expect. And so he brings in this big bag and I open it up and I pull out Mr. Bear. And Mr. Bear has had a little bit of renovation done to him um, since his creation 73 years ago. You might be able to see, and I'm not even sure, bring him a little bit closer. Yeah, you can see it there. He had a bigger, he had bigger eyes and they were done differently. Um, his nose was actually a little bit different, um, but the mouth is still the same original mouth. And um, my husband was given this bear when he was a newborn by his Aunt Jan. And it was her bear when she was a baby. And so she passed it on to him. And so when he was young, he was allergic to Mr. Bear, and he had um, a panda bear as well that he was allergic to. So his mom ended up putting the panda bear and Mr. Bear into a closet. And he said that, and she's told me stories as well, that he would always go to that closet to see the bears, you know, to make sure they were still there. And then one day, um, panda bear was gone and he was very young he was about four and he was devastated that something had happened to panda bear and um, it's just that panda bear was smaller and easier to slip through than mr. bear because he's he's quite a big fella as you can see but anyway before I continue with the story of what happened to panda bear I'm going to tell you about how Mr. Bear came to my life. So my husband opened him up, took all the old stuffing out of him and restuffed him and he redid the nose and he took off those big eyes. I'm not even sure what kind they were, but you can tell that they had been glued on whatever they were and he created new eyes out of buttons and he washed Mr. Bear, you know, after the stuffing was out of him. So he was all cleaned up and nice and fresh, and then he sprayed him down with cologne that he wore. And so 
I mean, I just bawled when I got Mr. Bear because that was just like one of the most thoughtful gifts and something that I know that meant a lot to my husband, he was, you know, given to me. And so thus Mr. Bear and I began our journey and we've now been on this journey of loving one another for 16 years. So, wow. But anyway, so my husband was upset about Panda Bear disappearing. And so he just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. So finally, um, Mr. Bear got to stay. He said eventually Mr. Bear did get to come down into the room as he got older to just sit on display. Um, but he said there were some times he snuck Mr. Bear into bed with him. But he seems to be fine around him now. So, I don't know. Maybe he outgrew whatever that allergy was. So, this was Mr. Bear. Alright, so we're going to say bye to Mr. Bear. And I'm going to introduce you to somebody else. This is Mr. Brown Bear. And this bear was given to him to replace Panda Bear. He is a special kind of bear. Um, he is, uh, I can't think of the word, um, hyperallergenic. So my husband was able to sleep with Mr. Brown Bear. And so for those of you who know, and then those of you who don't, I recently just had back surgery. And when and I was only supposed to have one and it was supposed to last four and a half hours and I ended up having two. The first one was six hours and then the last one was two and a half hours. And when I woke up from the second surgery, I had no mobility or feeling in my right leg. And I'm still working on that. We, um, today is exactly two weeks since I came home and I just realized my ceiling fan is right above me and that looks really weird so it's gonna look weird in the video so I'm gonna bring my video just a little bit closer to me so maybe that'll cut that out and not be quite so there we go <laughs> and so when I woke up I didn't know where I was and after that when I'd wake up you know you forget sometimes unless the pain is out there that you can't walk and whatnot so I would sleep with the pillow so when I first would wake up I would feel grounded and so when I came home um, I did the same thing for the first couple nights and my husband went and got Mr. Bear for me and he pulled it out of some of his memorabilia stuff and washed him and sprayed him down with cologne and brought him to me to sleep with now because um so this is mr brown bear but now i would sleep with mr brown bear like this and so my husband has come up with a new name for him because <laughs> he's got a little butt crack Shh. so now he calls him butt crack bear but we'll just keep calling him mr brown bear but anyway i thought that was so sweet that the two stuffed animals, the two toys that my husband still has from his childhood that at different times in my life, he has introduced them to me at the right time. I had never met Mr. Brown Bear. All these years we've been together, I had never met him. He was just kind of put away with some of his, you know, favorite things. And that's kind of a joy and a blessing because then when Mr. Brown Bear came into my life, it was at like a very special time. So, I apologize. That's all my friends posting videos for me to go watch. But anyway, so that is our episode today. I wanted to introduce to you some of my husband's childhood bears that through our dating, courtship, and marriage that he has shared and gifted to me and... They mean a lot so well on behalf of mr. bear and mr. brown bear and myself 
we appreciate you coming and hanging out with us today. And we look forward to seeing you next week with something else. Um, another little fact to learn about me and who I am. Well, this has been Cynthia with Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Take care. Be joyful. Always. There's joy everywhere to be found and to be had. Fill your joy tank and let it overflow. I love you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.